Well, hello, everybody. I was the lucky recipient of a collection uh, that I picked up here just a few days ago. Um, very excited to kind of go through this, show you what I got. Uh, I mean, simply, I got a couple boxes here, a little binder. Uh, it's a small collection, included this little playmat, so we'll unroll that and see what it is. Uh, very, very small. There's not a ton of cards here. Uh, spent about $200 on everything, and I'm sure we're going to make a profit once we flip everything, but uh, let's kind of go through and, and see what all we have here. So let's start with that play mat. Let's see, what do we got? Oh, that's cool. So this is Grand Prix Charlotte. Let me show you this thing. This is cool. Star City Games, Grand Prix Charlotte. That's Jace. I think that's Avison in the picture. That's really cool. That's an awesome picture. So we'll go through each thing, um, show you what's in here, and also why you have to be real careful when you're when you're picking up collections, and you have to be absolutely sure uh, of what you're getting. So in here, these are just extra sleeves. Nothing in there. Um, in here, we've got some bulk rares, I believe. I didn't see anything really crazy in here. Uh, we'll go through just to see. It's kind of a cool box. The squirrel riding a, a toad of some sort. It's kind of neat. These are all just bulk rares. Oh, and here's Wrath. Drowner of Hope. Ugin. That's interesting. Okay, a lot of Battle for Zenicar. Ooh, Strong Resonator. Copy target triggered ability you control. Let me choose new targets. Awesome. Yeah, all stuff that's already cycled out of standard. Nothing really crazy in here. Oh, see the unwritten. Clone from M14. Foil Alhamrat. That's cool. Um, da, da, da. Yeah, Oath of a Johnny. Word of Invention. Oh, a couple things. Oh, Zer the Enchanter. Very cool. Nothing that is overwhelming as far as excitement here. Yeah, this is all. Stuff it's cycled out. It's from a couple of dual decks. Endless one. And Desolation Twin. A couple of those. Bump in the Night. Target opponent loses three life. Huh. And some foils. Just, you know, kind of whatever. So this is obviously not what we were buying. Oh, fell at our Sovereign. Very nice. But just sort of came with the collection. Um, this box here. I think, see, I mean, just not, not very much. Um, when I pick up collections like this, basically this and then the bulk rares, I, I don't place any value on that. I flat out, okay, so these are, okay, master sets. Alright, it looks like just opened a pack, pulled out the rare, and moved on. Oh, foil rewind. Foil. Oh, summoning trap. Oh, might have Volcrosa. But always like that's always worth going through, even though when you you know, I know it's just bulk, you know, but foils can every now and again have a surprising amount of value. Um, certain uncommons from different sets will ho always hold value. Um, but this particular gentleman, uh, he knew what he had. Um, and he was asking a very fair price. I mean, essentially, what I'm about to show you next, yeah, so just a few foils. I'll set that in the bulk stack. This will just go here. There's nothing really exciting there, but this is what this is what was exciting. This is where the value is. So we'll go to Value Town next. 
this is a really cool case though. There's your, your deck, there's your sideboard, there's a spot here for dice, there's a couple of dice in here. What are they? Origins. An M15, cool. So this is a modern burn deck. Um, deflecting Palm, Random Disenchant, Shattering Spree, Slaughter Games, that's random. Uh, Molten Rain, Relic, Shattering Sprees, Molten Rain, Core Firewalker, Destructive Revelry, so that's your sideboard. From that, and then so let's get the box out of the way. So check this out. This is almost complete. So Boros Charm, some Skull Cracks, play set of those. Searing Blaze, three of those. Rift to Bolt, play set of those. Lava Spike, two of those. Lightning Helix, four of those. Lightning Bolt. Oh, those are revised. Okay, I didn't see that. That's fourth edition. Those are revised. And there's four of those total. Yodelin of the Great Revel, Monastery Swift Spears, there's four of those, Goblin Guides, yep, all the new Masters Edition, and then check this out, so Wooded Foothills, there's three, four of those, a Stomping Ground, now these are all um, Zendikar, Arid Mesas, um, I am... Now I have a counterfeit. Um, one thing I, I just couldn't uh, double check these. Um, I'm pretty sure, especially with the Japanese, I'm confident that they're not fake. This one, I don't know. Considering that they've been played, yeah, these are not fake. These are real. I'm always concerned with counterfeits. Um, hang on, I think, let me grab, I, I do have one a uh, fake one that's here. Let me take a look. Just to do it, just so you guys can see a comparison between the two. Anytime, see now if these had been um, the new Modern Master set that came out, um, I wouldn't have even questioned them at all. So this, so I know for a fact that this is fake. Um, this is a fake one, and this is a real one. Yeah, these are yeah, his are his are real. Um, I'll check all of them though here in a second. But you really, I mean, if you were just looking at them, you can't tell much of a difference. Um, the biggest issue is the feel and the back. Um, you can see this is a lot darker on the printing. This is much more normal, uh, but the feel is where you get it. This card is thicker. I can feel that for sure compared to the real one. Uh, also the gloss, there's a little bit more gloss. Now this, I mean it's close, but I can, I mean, and even with the bend, you know, you know, if I really had to, to take these to the bend test, this one's gonna be fine. This one, I mean, as soon as you start to bend it, see how it just, it just gets stuck. Um, so this one was definitely good. Let me set that over here. The Japanese, yep, no issue there. No one makes foreign language counterfeits, so I'm not. I wasn't really concerned with that. It's it's funny whenever you're dealing with cards that ha that are known as in the counterfeit community. Um, what you do is it's like money. Um, if you go to a bank and they're training you on how to to tell if some if it's fake money if it's counterfeit money what they do is they don't ha have you handle fake money they have you handle real money and the goal is for you to learn what does real money feel like because then as soon as you're handed fake money you know instantly it's fake so just the feel test makes this one fail and this is real so so we're good my that was my only concern i didn't have my um uh, jewelers um, loop with me and that was kind of my only concern uh, all right sacred foundries Th three of those inspiring vantage two of those a couple of unglued mountains and four bloodstained mires um, 
I wasn't entirely sure why the Blissane Myers were in a four pack. I think Modern Burn uses Scalding Tarns typically, but I mean, if your purpose is to go get a, a mountain, what's the what's the difference? Go with the cheaper one, right? But yeah, this is a, a full Modern Burn deck. Um, actual value of everything that's in here is probably close to 300 and something dollars. So again, I spent about two uh, on everything in here. So I'm I'm pretty happy with my price point, with the uh, my entry point on that. Um, you know, I'm not sure what the random fourth edition disenchant is doing, but whatever. Just throw that in the bulk bin. So this basically takes care of value-wise what we're looking for. Um, but in addition to that, well, let me put my fake Aaron Mesa off to the side just so we don't get lost, but check this binder out. Nothing, there's not a ton in here, but there's uh, three Path to Exiles and one Foil Path to Exile. And I, you know what, I, for some reason I think there's more in here. Let me look. Yeah, look at that. So there's actually five Path to Exiles, one of which is Foil. Use this little side loader, or no. Crap, did I just forget? There we go. Okay. I'm like, did I seriously forget how to <laughs> how I got that out? Um, another on Glued Land, some more Fetch Lands, um, which is really nice. A couple of Blood Crypts, Choked Estuary, eh, whatever. Um, Inqu Inquisition, not worth what it used to be. Gifts Ungiven, you know, whatever. Grim Lava Mancer has a little bit of value, but nothing compared to where it used to be at. But then all these are empty. There's nothing in any of these that I saw, except from the back. And we've got some um, modern uh, card frame lightning bolts. Uh, M10, M11. Again, there's... Ugh. You can tell they've been in here a while. That's yeah, like just one. Is there two in this one? Good night. I'm gonna have to get everything out of here. This is this is crazy. Give me my card. See, this is when a binder is overprotective. It's like I don't need you to protect the card that much. Is there one in here? Yeah, just one in here. So. So lightning bolts. Um, but then if you see over here, there's some more monastery swift spears, or just one. Looks like one or two rift bolt. Oh, actually, maybe a few rift bolts. Yeah, one, two. Ugh, another stuck one. Good lord. So the might so. Yeah, that's just one more. I'm going to deal with that later. Good night. I may have to cut it out. That's crazy. But, you know, nothing t as far as crazy value in, in this binder. Um, just stuff to kind of reinforce what we already had. Oh, there's another core Firewalker. You know, but this is, you know, a good 20 bucks. you know, in, in cards that I'll be able to sell off, you know, as far as the paths. You know, these will each get, you know, 10 to 15 a piece. So... Value-wise, definitely happy with the purchase. Very happy with the collection. I'm very glad that the uh, aired mesas turned out to be uh, authentic. Um, that m just makes my day. But yeah, whenever you're picking up a collection, always look for those type of things. Anything that is in the known counterfeit ring, uh, which are the Zendikar fetch lands, um, the modern masters, the first modern masters blood moon, um, and of course anything that is on the reserve list, always check. Um, if you have a jeweler's loop, uh, if you're running into that sort of stuff regularly, I highly recommend them. They're only like five to 10 bucks for a really good one on Amazon. Um, I cannot recommend that enough. Again, I just kind of got lucky today that I, I forgot mine when I went to pick this up, um, but they turned out to be authentic. So we're, we're good there. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I know these are all going to be sold off. I, I, I would love to play modern, but I, I just I don't have time to play Commander as much as I'd like to, never mind uh, Modern. So I'm going to try to flip these and, uh, and, and get ahead a little bit. 
again, overall, once I sell these on Am uh, on not Amazon, on eBay, uh, minus fees, minus shipping, and all that, um, bought them for about 200. I think minus all my all the fees, all my uh, and everything, I'll probably profit about 30 to 70 dollars, depending on where each of the cards are. I didn't look everything up. Um, that extra path will help a little bit, but I don't know. Really excited. Hope you guys enjoyed looking through this uh, small collection, but always exciting. And basically what it was, the, the gentleman who was selling this, he's been in and out of Magic for the past 10, 12 years. And he all he built was this modern deck, uh, this modern burn deck. And now he's moved on to something else, needed some money. And again, if you can have a couple hundred dollars liquid, you never know what uh, what will come along. So thank you guys so much, and we'll see you next time.